Singer John Guerra has a heart for worship and his purpose as a songwriter is to create music that pleases, that's pleasing to God. But prior to becoming a worship artist, John wrote jingles for well-known companies such as Comcast, Chase Bank, and Allstate um, Insurance. And I'm just wondering if he will write a jingle for The Harvest Show. Welcome, uh, John. Thank you, Valerie. <laughs> nice to be here. Right here. Let's get a napkin. Put it on the back of a napkin. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you have some awesome music, but I was like, oh, my! it piqued my interest to know that you were a jingle writer. So how did you get into that work, line of um, work? It was just... I don't know, how do you get into anything, I guess? Somebody yeah. introduces you to somebody, and then you make a good impression, cross your mm -hmm. fingers, and they call you back. Mm -hmm. That's kind of that. Um, but it was definitely, it was one of those jobs that you you really, it kind of f f hones in and focuses on just kind of the melody and just having to get good at the facility of, of connecting with people in like an eight-second you only have eight seconds. You don't right. have four minutes to kind of get all poetic. And if you have eight, 15 <laughs> seconds, you have to grab people and hope that they want to buy, you know, yeah. the deodorant stick. Yeah, or right. Buy so, <laughs> Menon. Yeah, totally. Uh, did, was this something that kind of uh, you saw early in your life? I mean, were, were jingles catching you or were little rhymes catching you? Or did things kind of come naturally and you kind of yeah. stitched words together? And I mean, from, so I... I started playing music and writing songs at, when I was 12. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just because I went on a missions trip with uh, my church. I was a super shy kid. My mom's like, this kid needs to make friends. Puts me on a missions trip with two <laughs> weeks for, with a bunch of strangers. I'm so glad she did. On that trip, I heard worship music and um, asked for the court sheets from my youth pastor, came home and started playing. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was all kind of church music for a long time. And then I started getting into bands. And honestly, jingles, it just, it was one of those things. It was a, it was a job. And... I needed a job, and, mm -hmm. and I got good at it. That's right. You so you do what you, I heard, I think it was Denzel Washington who said, you do what you have to do until you can do what you really want, want to do. That's right. Yeah. There you go. And I'd imagine you really love doing what you do now. Oh, so much. Um, tell Total us gift. about Little Songs. So Little Songs is my debut album. came out about three weeks ago. And, um, yeah, it's, it's titled after the very first song in the album called Every Little Song. Mm -hmm. And the lyrics pretty much sum it up. It says... And so receive my words, and so receive my songs. Um, they are my best, they are my first fruits. Until I see your face in heaven's great view, these little songs are what I have for you. Mm. Wow. So it's basically just the idea that um, my songs are an offering. God has given so much to me, so much to us. And so my songs are my best effort, my best poetry, my best music um, as an offering to him. And they're also an offering to those who might listen in, wherever they're at on their faith journey, whether they're new believers, old believers, flirting with the mm -hmm. faith, what, what have you, um, it, I think it's an, an encouraging thing to hear somebody processing, wrestling, um, and ultimately uh, praising God with their mm. songs. So. But something really happens when we do that, when we give our best back to God. He kind of mm. breathes on it. And, mm. then, and then as a result, you start going all over the nation, worshiping God and leading people into the presence um, yeah. with your music. Yeah. I mean, what has been the response? Um, Surprising, su uh, surprisingly good. People have been very <laughs> gracious and, and generous. And uh, I, think, I think it's just, you know, sometimes I wonder, I don't know why God picked me to be able to do this. It, it really is a gift. It's mm -hmm. something that I'd always mm -hmm. dreamed of doing. And mm -hmm. I get to do it with my wife a lot. We travel together a ton. And uh, it's just amazing to see the very old but poignant message of, of God's love and transformation mm -hmm. and um, ultimate concern for human beings. It's amazing that that same message, just through a different channel, through a different mm -hmm. voice, really just continues to connect yeah. with people. Really, uh, when you just said those lyrics, it's really sweet. Uh, and what, I, what, what, it, what it struck me is like very much like childlike faith. And really, mm -hmm. that's what, the way that the Lord expects us to come. You yeah. know, come as, as, a, as a child, you know? Yeah. If you're not more like one of these little ones, you can't enter the kingdom. And so that, totally, totally. that simplicity of expression Yes, uh, yes. Make, just, just you quoting that made a connection with me. Oh, awesome. Uh, when awesome. it comes to the music, what are you hoping folks kind of take away from your, your debut yeah. album here? I mean, at the very least, I hope they enjoy the tunes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I hope it's a delight to listen to. Um, and, and then further than that, I think, I think delight is kind of God's superpower. Mm -hmm. Delight and awe are kind of the biggest <clears throat> doors through which people enter the kingdom because it's a species of joy. Mm -hmm. um, the scriptures say uh, the kingdom of God is like somebody who finds a treasure hidden in a field and in his joy goes and sells all he has to buy the field. So love proceeds from joy, which I think is a species of delight. So hopefully people listen to this and are 
drawn to the message, drawn to God, drawn to this, um, really this sense of, of, of love and hope and justice and, and transcendence that, that God calls us to. And, well, talk yeah. about some of the cuts, other cuts on the CD. So um, Every Little Song is the first album, and then my first singles is uh, called Nothing Better. Mm -hmm. And it's just a, a fun, joyful tune about kind of, it's about that acute moment when you really believe like in, in the heart of hearts, in your bones, that you're unconditionally loved. Not the kind of love that says, do this, do that, and you're loved, but the love that says, I see you in your mess, and I love you. That's so hard just for boom. us, to, though, as believers to grasp, Isn't even non-believers, yeah. you know. Um, oh, totally. It's hard for us to Because we live in such a meritocracy. America is so much of a meritocracy where do this, <laughs> do this, and you earn it, and you get it. and then That's right. And so you're only, um, you only get so much as, as you deserve. But that's not quite the gospel. The gospel is I see you when you don't deserve anything, and I give mm -hmm. you everything. Mm -hmm. and, and, and there's these moments, <clears throat> and I think we all experience it as believers. It, it's, it's such a tender and almost a fragile feeling that you get when you really believe that. And, and it's very exhilarating, and it's, it's very joy. It's kind of like you just want to jump out of your skin, like, I'm free. <laughs> I don't have to prove myself anymore. I don't have to do this or that. So I wanted to capture that in a song, and I feel like just kind of a fun poppy, joyful, mm -hmm. I sing a lot of high notes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> You're not singing that one today, are you? I did, uh, yeah, I'm singing oh. that one today. Yeah. Oh, good, good, because mm -hmm. I was going to put a request in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sounds really good, I want to hear that. Totally. Uh, what, uh, what were some of the influences, or some of the people that influenced you uh, along the way? Um, so I, like I said, I, when I was 12 years old, went on that missions trip, and so it was kind of a lot of worship songs. We were singing a lot of vineyard stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then through that, just kind of the classic Starting with some of the classic youth group tunes, whether it be, um, you know, ska or punk rock and MXPX is kind of... And then in, in high school, I got really into um, kind of like Bob Dylan, 1960s folk music, and through college, it was sort of the first time I connected with, um, understood that poetry could have such power. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. just about a cool tune that kind of got me hyped up before youth group. It was about, mm -hmm. man, this word, this lyric is saying something and yes. it can burrow so deep into your heart. Yeah. So, man, that's good. I yeah. know. You could, are you sure you're not a bootleg preacher too as well? <laughs> because My I mean, dad was a preacher. My dad is a preacher. So I learned from the best, I guess. That's right. I could hear it, but you don't sound preachy, does Oh, he? great. I mean, you just, you just sound amazing. There's but... so many preachers. Who wants to hear another preacher? <laughs> just want to hear somebody talk. Um, I just wanted to ask you this other one quick question. I mean, you were a part of, part of Vertical Church Band. So yeah. how difficult was it to just kind of go solo? Oh, man. It was not difficult at all, actually. They were so stinking supportive. I had written um, so many songs for Vertical, but a lot of them, because I was still getting used to the vernacular, weren't congregational worship songs. They were mm -hmm. more devotional worship songs. Mm -hmm. So okay. something somebody could listen to in their car in the morning and whatever. And um, the record label caught wind of these, and Vertical was like, we're so supportive of John. We want him to kind of pursue these. Things. We think people need to hear these songs. Mm -hmm. The record label agreed. And wow, here that's I am. good. And we agree. And so we're glad you decided to do that. To get a copy of John's project, go to johngaramusic.com or go to harvest-tv.com for a link to Little Songs. And still to come, John Garra performs Stained Glass from the, his new album, Little Songs. But up next in today's Connections, Pastor Mark Lance reveals the purpose and the power of the Holy Spirit. We'll be right back.